Today I have a AVT50H Valve State 2000 made in England around 2004 so it's a 20 year old amp. Uh, it's one of the cheaper models that only has one tube in the preamp section and I've had it for 10 years and I don't play it but it looks really cool and I picked it up for pretty cheap but I thought hey it's time to change that tube and uh, see if it makes a difference. So I thought I'll record the process I'll do a little before and after and we'll see if it worked. Let's get to it. Just using a medium Ibanez from the 90s humbucker position. I'm not mic'd or anything, just using the camera and uh, dialed it in the best I could and let's see how she does. Okay, as you can see, I've uh, unplugged the power and uh, I've taken the back plate off. And when you look inside, there's your one lonely tube. And by the look of it, it says Marshall on it. So that would be the original. So all you got to do is there's this little protective, well, not protective, springy thingy that holds it in. That's it. You just pop it off. That's it, and then just give it a good little wiggle, nice and firm, and there we have it. So I'm going to pop in the new one, one second. So I picked up the uh, ECC83 tube from Mesa because uh, that's the only one I had in stock. Uh, a lot of people use the uh, JJ, but I'm sure this one will be just fine. Okay, so you line up the gap with the back and then just give it a wiggle you gotta give it some force not too crazy but you know gently wiggle it into place okay seems pretty good and then I just give it a wipe in case I got any fingerprints oil from my fingers on there and then just put this little spring that holds it in place and that should do it. Let's uh, fire this puppy up. That was relatively easy. And uh, looks like I'm back up and running. Let it warm up for a second there. I uh, haven't changed any of the dials, nothing. Just put it in and let's see if it made a difference. It's a little less muddy than it was, so I would call that a wing. 